What's up everybody, this is Brady from Smarty Streets. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the Smarty Streets PHP SDK for address validation. On our to-do list at numero uno, locate your wallet. Front right pocket, great. Now forget it, because you don't need it, because this account is free. You can click the link in the description or go to smartystreets.com slash pricing and click on the free option. Once you have done that, go up to the accounts page and locate your auth ID and auth token. Go ahead and highlight and copy those and save those somewhere because we're going to use them a little later on in the video. Next, we need to get the Smarty Streets PHP SDK. The easiest way to get the SDK is to use git to clone the PHP SDK repo. From the directory where your PHP files reside, do the following. If you use Composer, enter the following into your project's composer.json file. In our editor, I've created an empty file for our new PHP program in the same folder where we just cloned the SDK. Smarty Streets has some great examples in the PHP SDK to help you get started. So, let's get the single address sample from the cloned SDK and paste it into our new file. These examples are designed to run right where they are in the SDK. We need to make a couple of changes to the require statements so it will run in our new environment. We will remove the redundant dir name calls. Then, we will add the SDK folder name to each. The only thing we need to do is copy the auth ID and auth token we got from our Smarty Streets account page and uh, put that into the sample. If you would rather set environment variables with your auth ID and auth token, the sample shows you how to retrieve those variables. But for our example, we're just going to hard code them. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we just run it. This particular example doesn't print out much of the return data. As we add the code to print more information, Note that it is broken down into candidates, which is further broken down into components. The candidate contains delivery information that you would put directly on a mailing label. So we will print out the delivery line one, two, and the last line, which is the city, state, and zip plus four. If you need to break down the address information into components, such as primary number, street name, pre and post directions, etc we access the address components. For a comprehensive list of all components, feel free to look into the SDK source under US Street, Candidates and Components. Now, we run the example again. And that, my friends, is how you use the Smarty Streets PHP SDK. If you want to learn how to use other SDKs from Smarty Streets, just go to smartystreets.com slash docs. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below or visit our website and talk with our super fast, super friendly support. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can be notified when we post other helpful videos. Happy validating.